some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in New York City at a Coast Guard facility where Good Guy Audits, a.k.a. David, is trying to gain entry and audit the joint. But he gets booted out after he films secured areas. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, David, are you thinking about joining the Coast Guard? Well, to be perfectly honest, I don't think they'll take you. They require people with strong moral character, and you don't have any of that. And even if they let you in with your record, I doubt you would make it past the eight-week training course. I'm okay, thank you. I'm sorry? I'm okay for now. No, you got it. Why not? What does that mean? No, you can't be recording in here. Please don't touch business? me, sir. Please don't touch me, sir. You got any business here? Can you remove your hand from my shoulder? You have any business here? Thank you. Yeah, I have business. What's that, sir? Is there a reason why you got your handcuffs in your hand? Is there a crime? I'm asking you to leave the building. I'm yeah, conducting it's business. No, okay. You How's that private? Building. You just said it's a government building. Yes, right. How do people get recruited? Again, you need to leave the building. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? No, I am the me. supervisor. I'm so, asking you to leave the building. Let me ask you a question because you're yes, too close. Let me back up. Yeah. So you're saying the public can't come here to get recruited? Hey, listen, dumbass. Just because this is a government building does not mean it is open to the public. In fact, this is a United States Coast Guard facility. It is a military installation and not under the jurisdiction of the local government. It is its own entity, its own branch of the military, under a different set of rules. So essentially, you have just walked in from one jurisdiction to another, and the rules, therefore, change. That's something you should get used to if you ever join the military, which is something I don't foresee you doing, so don't even bother asking about recruitment at this point, because you are most likely ineligible. The public can't... Yeah, what you can't, but you can't record these, right now. Why are these pamphlets here? So the public Again, why are we recording the whole building? Recording a, a, a private mail area. I'm in the public lobby, sir. Again, you're recording the yeah. building. You know what Smith v. Cummings is? I don't care what you It's a Supreme Court case. Why do you can keep, step out. What's wrong with you? Why do you step out? Why are you shaking? Shaking? Yeah, get some. Get your supervisor, old man. See that? He's shaking his shit. You seen that, right? We are looking at somebody who didn't grow up mentally, physically, yes, but certainly not mentally. 
And academically, he certainly didn't mature either because, you know, he was he's a high school dropout and he probably has less of an education than that. It was probably be about fifth grade at the very most. So David is an uneducated, unemployable, unrecruitable by the military, a drain on society, which that basically means we've got to pay for his stupidity. You see that, right? Such a great represent representative of our military. Do you want to know what I see in there, David? I see a man that's a thousand times better than you are. I see someone who matured as a man mentally as well as physically. I see someone who holds a position within the U.S. Coast Guard doing his duty to the best of his ability despite morons like you trying to interrupt him. I see someone being a productive member of society who is being harassed by a man, well, not a man, but more of a man-child, who is harassing an actual man just for his own amusement. And that is what I see. I see an uneducated twerp going after somebody who actually has something going for himself. He said it's a government building, then he said it's a private building. Keep pushing, right? Hey, this guy gets up. He's gonna go complain. Yeah. Funny thing is that they, they have blinds. There you go. That's the right thing to do. What's wrong with these people? Well now, David, there's an old saying, and it pertains to you. When you encounter an asshole one day, you've just encountered an asshole. When everybody around you is an asshole, it might be because you are the asshole. And tell them what? So what? Stop. Don't, don't touch me again. Don't, don't touch me again. They feel uncomfortable you recording. They swore yeah. oath to protect my rights. Right. So they should feel uncomfortable. For what? What crime? Again, I don't even know who you, you are, sir. Why are you talking okay. to me? Okay. Who are you? Who are you? Okay. Right. you don't head of security in this building. Okay. You cannot be recording in here. Of course I can. It's public. No, it's not public. It is. It's, it's not public. US it is not public. The US Inside Army is not public. public. No, this is the Coast Guard. Who funds, who so funds the Coast Guard? Okay, when we, it's Coast Guard. Who funds now, the Army, Coast Guard? You know who, who funds the Coast Guard? Okay, buddy. Who funds the Coast Guard? The people, right? The people. Of the course. Government does. The people. The public can come in here and gather public taxes. information. The, I do. That's why I can be here. I do. That's why I can be here. All right. I do. That's why I can be here. You can't be recording. Why are you stuttering? Because you're lying. Okay. Nobody's lying, dude. You are. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Earlier okay. you were shaking. Now you're lying. Nobody's you even shaking. I'm not even shaking now. Why don't you break All contact? All right, stop recording. Go back then. to your job. I feel uncomfortable freaking you recording. Um, That's I'm sorry it. they feel that way. I'm not going to stop recording now. Uh, they shouldn't feel uncomfortable. Excuse me? They shouldn't feel uncomfortable because they swore to protect my rights. All they right, took it over to the Constitution. Again. Excuse me, sir. You're blocking my movement. Uh, fucking anything. Am I detained? No. So why you are you in my way? Of course, it's not private property. It is property. property. That's no, it's why I'm not. Here security. Yes, it's it not is. private property. It is private property. So if the public wants to come and get recruited, they can't come in and get recruited? They want to have an appointment, they come in and get recruited. They want okay. to recruit, they come recruit. But I nobody need... ever comes in here recording this is anything. private property. Here we go. I'm going to get out your way because your breath stinks. Yeah, all right, fine. I'm going to go around because he keeps blocking my movement.
I'm gonna be here all day until you guys close because you just violated my rights and you put your hands on me. So now, now I'm gonna be here all day. Call the cops. How you doing? You're, what's your name? Do you see what I mean? A drain on society. He wants to drain resources so he can get in that building and record everything just because he thinks it's his right. Well, the police are going to show up, but he's not going to get any satisfaction. So let's continue on. You want to join the Coast Guard? If I went in there for a reason, right? Not, you grabbed me, you put your hands on me. me. I did tell you. I said I'm conducting business. I said I'm conducting business. But you so you so focused on being a tough guy. You so focused on being a tough guy that you didn't even hear what I said. I'm gonna let you talk. Go ahead. Talk. Say what you gotta say. Fucking bum. Here we go. This is the main line right here. Again, another example about how stupid this guy is considering he just only read main line and probably assumed that was how to get in touch with the Coast Guard Central Office when it says recruiting at the beginning of it. So all you're going to get is the uh, recruiting uh, department of the U.S. Coast Guard. Are you that stupid or just can't read? Because either way, how do you even know what the Constitution says if you're either stupid or you can't read? So it is completely laughable that you go around in these buildings and do what you do, saying it is your absolute right to do so, when you are so stupid and illiterate that you won't even understand what anything says or means. He said it's a private building. This is a recruitment office. How the fuck is it private? This is called, this is right here. It's called the public lobby. Where they greet the public. It's a public building. If they want privacy, they gotta create it. See how you turn those papers over? That's the right thing to do. And they got blinds. You see that, right? I need to speak to somebody in charge, sir. That's not you. Somebody that honors their oath. Dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Come here. Come here, little tyrant. Security guard. Coast guard security. Isn't that funny? Look, this guy's on the phone right here. He's calling the cops. They don't give a fuck about our rights. Nope. Can I speak to you? That's funny. Many, many minutes later. They, they arrived fast, huh? Response time was crazy. Hey, how are you? Officer Lee, first person. Nice to meet you. And you? Officer Bell, first person. Nice to meet you. you know? Yeah, so I'm an independent journalist. I'm working on a story. So what I do is I gather public information from public entities and I disseminate to the public. Yes. This is a public agency. It's the Coast Guard. It's fun. It's, it's the, come on now. If it's not one of the most public places, right? So what I went in there to do was gather public information, you know, also to check up on my government workers. You know, Smith v. Cummings. We can record our government officials in the course of their duties, just like we can record you guys. Right. Anybody that works for the government, we can record them while they're working. 
Hey, dumbass, you need to read the actual ruling and understand what it says. But of course, you can't read. But my subscribers sure as hell can, which is why I'm putting up the opinions and rulings of that case right now. And it does not give you unlimited access to any building. It is mainly centered around the police. It doesn't say anything about the military. So once again, you're overstepping your bounds, and just like any other fraudster what I would say, why don't you go ahead and kick rocks? This gentleman, as soon as I went in, I got gathered some pamphlets, as you can see, some some paper. I was going to continue to gather public information. I want to speak to somebody in there. Maybe they could tell me about the Coast Guard. So my view was, if anybody's interested, you know, it's, it's matters of public interest. This gentleman grabs me, forces me out the building, physically assaults me. Baby. Physically assaults me, right? No, I got thousands. I got thousands of viewers right now, live. Why don't you play it back? Just like when I catch you, what what are you doing? Why are you recording? You said, do you need help? You said, do I need help? I said, not at this moment. I said, not at this moment. He said, do I need help? I said, not at this very moment. I was going to continue to gather my information. No, I'm not even talking to him, so I'm talking to you. I was going to continue gathering my public information, and then I was going to ask to speak to somebody. At that moment, I didn't need help. What gives him the right to put his hands on me and assault so, so me? So what, what this gentleman is explaining to us is, like, just like the police precincts, you can record all you want outside. You, can you, have you, you actually outside. could. You, you actually can record, record in, in the police precinct. Inside, no, there's no law out. against it. Outside, there's not a law. There's on any. I don't know about their building inside, but our police precincts. Once you walk inside, there's actually a, a policy, a, a, a not a law. Container. There's a policy. That's a policy. Okay. You can, thing. sir. Technically, yeah. technically, we're supposed to be allowed to record in police precincts. Not in private areas, but in a public in a public lobby, we're supposed to be able to because it's a public building. But you guys are enforcing that policy as if it's law. Is there's no law that we can't record inside a public building? Okay, let me hit upon some points here. Number one, you've already proven to me that you are mostly illiterate. You have a very low reading ability, you have a very low comprehension skill, your education certainly leaves something to be desired, and you are not very trustworthy. So, how am I supposed to trust you on what the laws say when you are A, untrustworthy, B, uneducated, C, can barely read at all? So, how is that supposed to work? Because enlighten me on how I'm supposed to trust you on anything when all those points right there suggest to me that you shouldn't be trusted with any interpretation of the laws. You just said. You and guys are. Wait, wait, wait. You, let me read you what you just said. Go ahead. You said it yourself. Recording in a public area. Where was I standing? Hold on, hold on. Where was I standing? Hold on. He might gonna be talk. standing in go a ahead. public area. Go ahead. Go ahead. I might have been standing in a public area. But what did you do? You walked up to a private room where the mail room is, but it's the stuff that you should not, even nobody should, and you recorded inside a mail room. Then you went to a, the metal door and recorded down the hallway. It's not a public area. That's where there's a door there. So, in your own way, you contradicted yourself. No. You're recording where you're not supposed to. Be. Where was that? You want that? to record the lobby? Okay, private. let me I'll ask you a question. You that, but you I would say it's finished respectfully. You let me ask you a question. Where was I standing? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Can you can you explain to him what the the, the plain view doctrine is? Please, it's very serious. Can you please educate him on what the plain view doctrine is? That means if I'm in, I'm in the public area. Listen, hear me out. I let you speak. Let me speak. I'm standing in the public area. That means whatever I can see from public, I can record. If you want privacy in that mail room, you put the blinds down. That's like telling me, yo, don't look down that hallway. I didn't go into that private area. I'm standing in a public area recording whatever I can see. Once again, you prove how uneducated you are. The plain view doctrine has nothing to do with your situation. It is a doctrine used during police searches. You bloody moron. Get a damn clue. You are not as smart as you think you are. Can you explain and, that and to no, him? Wait, 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 and, 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 I didn't go inside. I, I could record and, in there all, all I want. If a woman's bathroom door is open and there's women in there, why you're allowed to record them because you're in the hall. Is that the, ba is that the bathroom? Know, I'm using your words. You can't record in bathrooms, period. What is he talking about? You can't have a bathroom. Can you record in bathrooms, sir? 
It's called time, place, and manner, sir. You know what time, place, and manner is? This is where you guys come in and educate him because clearly he's not educated. If I'm standing in a public lobby, whatever I can see from that public lobby, I can record. Why can't you educate him on that? What you're saying right now with the manner thing? It's time, place, and manner. Of course I can't go into a bathroom and record. It's time, place, and manner. But if I'm standing in a public lobby, whatever I can see from that public lobby, I can record. Because I'm in public. Sir, you're still inside the building. You still can't come With the time, place, and manner thing, can you please just not go inside and record? That's it. I'm trying to gather public information. This is a public entity. Did you get Is it not? Is, is, is this not public access? No, I wanted to speak to somebody. I want somebody to tell me about the Coast Guard for my viewers. Is this not a public entity? Is this not public access? You know, this video is an hour long and I could spend so many hours debunking every little thing that he says because he is just that damn stupid. Like in the past 30 seconds or so of him talking, there was a dozen things that I could have said that I could have debunked. But, you know, I just don't have the time for that. Because he's, he's, everything he says is just so damn stupid. It's live. You're I, Right now, I'm live. I got thousands of viewers, thousands of viewers watching me standing in the public lobby. But because, listen, but because I can see down the hallway that gives him the right to grab me and escort me with no crimes being committed. I didn't. I didn't. That's hearsay. You got to investigate. Okay. No problem. Show, you got cameras there, too. You're recording anybody that goes in there. Okay, so since he's outside, he can record all he wants. We're yeah, good here? Outside. I love these. I'll just We're good here? Window. So you're telling me that this is private? This The the U.S. Coast Guard is private. The Department of Homeland Security is private. That's what you're telling me? Are we good here, right? Yeah, we're good. good. I'm asking you a question. This is private? I need your cards, please. It's funny because you, you, and everybody in this building took an oath to honor our rights. Soon as somebody exercises their rights peacefully, it's a problem, right? Well, the officers spend the next 30 minutes trying to tell this idiot that he can't record inside the building. But I don't want to listen to all that anymore. So let's just skip ahead to the ending of the video. Many unbearable hours later. You just yeah, said I can't be inside. I said you can't be on this. You understand know something? These are private offices. Okay. They have, shh, let me speak. You don't they know what the plain view doctrine is. It could be whatever. You could be recording stuff. Like uh -huh. That should be recording. Okay. Other people, like you said. People what if I was here, looking? Come, come with me. What is, come please come don't touch me. me. You touched me enough already. Don't touch yeah, me again. Just walk. Don't touch me again. again. There's people's information on there that could be on there. Okay. A joint. Am I responsible for that or are they responsible for that? No, you're not. They are, right? No, it doesn't matter. You shouldn't be They're responsible. It anyway. does matter. You want your information out there. So you? that's like me looking. What you if can. I was just looking? You can look from the sidewalk. You're saying that I can't look through that window? This is part of the building. No, you can't go through the of window. Of course I can look through the window. No, you, you can't. crazy? If I could look through it, I could record through it. You're not. Of course I could. You crazy? I'm in public, right? If you want privacy in public, you got to create it. Their private information is not my responsibility. It's their responsibility. Tell them to do their job right. Oh, they did their job in keeping the information private. They kicked your sorry ass out. That's how they're going to do it. And you're obviously butthurt about that because you have no concept of that idea anyway. Yeah. It's called Smith v. Cummings. It's called Smith, Smith v. Cummings. You know that Supreme Court case? Yeah, you keep going with you coming. I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to him. You know what Smith v. Cummings is, right? That says that the public, right, American citizens, Americans in general, that we have the right to record our government officials in the course of their duties. It's called freedom of press. Okay. So what's the big issue? What do you do for a living? Let me ask you that. This is what I do for a living. That's all you do? Yeah. This is productive. This is productive. This is productive. If I wanted to, it's shit I damn sure don't want to no more after the way I was treated here for simply no disturbance. I didn't cause no disturbance. All I did was exercise my rights. That's it. You're fucking. You hate. Why do you hate the Constitution? Why do you hate the Constitution? Oh, exactly. 
fucking walk of shame. That's sad, bro. I can't record these people while they work. Of course I could. You crazy? Well now, David, enjoy your walk of shame because you have earned it for the great deal of stupidity you showed throughout your video. I mean, it is just a beautiful sight to behold to see somebody so stupid. Did I mean say beautiful? I meant sad. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.